Hi, my name is Ray Lamb. And I'm Mithran Gunawarden from the University of Western Australia Department of Orthodontics. We know that when we use expansion appliances is a, that there is a transient reduction in the blood, blood flow through the pulps. How often have you seen a patient who presents with a history of trauma, either crazing or a fracture, and requires maxillary expansion? What would happen if you expanded those individuals? So our study aimed to assess pulp blood flow and pulp sensibility in healthy and traumatised teeth undergoing maxillary expansion with a TAD-based expander. As you can see, we used a conventional RME device which is tooth borne, bands on the sixes and tags on the fours or the Ds. And our focus was a TAD-based hybrid where you can see two parametrically placed TADs attached to bands as our MAMI framework. We used a series of acrylic jigs that ensured reproducibility of position. So we've selected patients who have treatment plans for either RME or our MAMI hybrid equivalent with four groups based on modality of expansion and whether there was a trauma of history. We tested it at three time intervals before and during rapid max through expansion and during retention. And with this specialised laser Doppler, we quantified pulp blood flow. In addition, we tested pulp um, sensibility either through the electric pulp test or the CO2 thermal state, which is more routine. But we would like to report our findings in terms of pulp blood flow. And interestingly, all groups during the most impressive time at rapid maxillary expansion demonstrated a drop in pulp blood flow at T2. But interestingly, all teeth um, in the groups, except for the RME and trauma, reach pre-treatment levels of pulp blood flow except for that group with the history or trauma. So what we concluded was the use of skeletal anchorage to dissipate reciprocal forces during expansion reduced changes to the dentition. So therefore, it would be interesting to consider teeth with the history of compromise and reduced adaptive capacity. Well, we think that uh, we encourage you to review our paper, I'm sure you'll enjoy it and there, there will perhaps be some clinical implications that you can take to managing our, your patients who've had a history of trauma. Thank you very Thank much. You.